nice to be here. My name's Leo. I'm from Scotland. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Pop. Thank you very much. Any Scottish people in? Somebody said aye. That's proper Scottish. That's more Scottish than me. I'm like the least Scottish person you could possibly meet. I'm like pretty English. Like, I'm, tell I'm like wearing shoes. Somebody's lost their contact lens. <laughs> Let's uh, get the Scottish team going, you know what I mean? Smash the place up. That's nice. Uh, yes, I'm totally not a Scot. My parents are English. You know, they're from, from London. Like, cause, uh, in the 70s, they sold a flat in London and moved to Dumfries, because for what you sold a flat in London for, you could buy, like, Dumfries. <laughs> Moved up there and started because they were like happy English parents, they, they gave us like stupid names, like called me Leo, like named me after my star sign. I had to go to school in Scotland, like all my mates were called like Fraser, Gordon, Doogie, Shoogie, stuff like that, proper Scottish names. I was called Leo, you know what I mean? You well called me Princess Pissy Pants. Absolutely My brother had it worse, so he's called Sagittarius. He's called Toby, but that's still a bit of a wanky name for Scotland, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and I love it down here, I've been down here a few years, like, I love it down here, like, uh, London's amazing, you get any food, any food from all around the world down here, like, you get, like, Chinese, you get Indian, there's probably other kinds and all, like, <laughs> in Scotland is a bit of a monoculture. Anybody, anybody beat in Scotland? Yeah. Nice, you had a nice time? Yeah. Must have taken sandwiches. <laughs> Our food is an abomination. It's just based around getting a lump of carbohydrate and frying it until it's definitely dead. Like, even when you try and do fancy food like fusion cuisine, this is how it comes out. Like, any chip shop in Scotland will do this for you. It's the deep fried pizza. Basically, what they do is they get a shitty supermarket pizza. They put cooked chips on it. They fold it in half and seal it so you've got a sort of chip calzone going on. <laughs> then they batter it and deep fry it. And do you know what it's served with? Chips! chips. <laughs> Not even a sprig of parsley. <laughs> it's a nation just dedicated to self-abuse. We're going to do a series of man versus food there, but it's pretty obvious that food would have just fucking won. <laughs> I was in Tesco's in Glasgow the other night and I got a bag of green salad and I went to the self-service checkout and it said unexpected item in the bag. <laughs> Little joke there. <laughs> yeah, and I love, uh, I love living down here, but it's funny, like, because I've got this accent and this facial hair, like, everybody assumes that I am an aggressive beggar. But <laughs> London is a fantastic place to be an aggressive beggar. Like up in Glasgow, you ask for like twenty p for a cup of tea, and you get told to fuck off. Like down here, I can ask for seven pound eighty for a latte macchiato. <laughs> and I actually get it. It's amazing. Like I love the sizes in the coffee shops as well. Like instead of small, medium, and large, they've got like venti, grande, and latte or whatever. Well, I've started applying that to when I have sex. Well, I had a lassie back to mine the other night. Well, I didn't really. But... <laughs> I had this lassie back to mine. She's like, I'm not shagging that, that's tiny. I was like, the correct term is venti. <laughs> and then I sprinkled some chocolate powder on my cock. And I put an almond biscotti on my left testicle. <laughs> and I charged her £7.80. <laughs> That's a business model. Yeah. yeah, the women, uh, the women are different down here as well. I noticed, uh, I noticed when I first moved down, because Susan Boyle was just getting famous. Like, remember she had that video where she, she comes out, YouTube video, she comes out, she's, she's sort of dishevelled, sort of like me, slightly more facial hair, but she sings, with, <laughs> she sings with that amazing voice. And all my English mates were like, oh my god. Oh my god, how can somebody so hideously ugly sing with the voice of an angel? Whereas in Scotland, she's a bit of a babe. <laughs> like I'm Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, the, the girls in London are a bit more sexually forward than the girls in uh, Dumfries. 
Uh, it's, it's funny, like, I, I did pull this last year the other night, I was, I was out with my mates, like, having a few pints and that, and I like, got chatting to this last year, I was like, oh man, this, we're getting on so well, like, totally getting on, like, a house on fire, and she, she says to me, hey, should we go back to yours? And I was like, fucking brilliant, this is on, you know what I mean? I didn't say that out loud. But, um, <laughs> it was amazing, it was totally on, and like, I paid for an Uber, you know what I mean? When it's on, you've got to pay, you can take a girl home on, like, three night buses. <laughs> Rise up a vagina quicker than fucking <laughs> You've got like fans and knee height is blowing Saharan air up towards the vaginal region just gumming it shut like mm, You know what I mean? <laughs> Paid for the best 14 pounds I ever spent, you know what I mean? <laughs> Paid for an Uber like yeah, and I'm pulling out all the stops, you know what I mean? I put boys to men on the stereo making it smooth, you know, I put on a kimono, you know what I mean? I was, I was in the bathroom, I changed the duvet cover, you know it's, I've got a light a scented candle with like, a curtain billowing over it because like nothing turns a girl on more than the risk of dying in a slightly fragrant house fire, you know what I mean? It's a danger, danger but we're getting down to it and this lassie's like an animal, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm pumping away, she's shouting at me like, ah, deeper, harder, faster, probably in a more feminine voice than that. Like, she's like, deeper, harder, but that's the last thing I want to hear, like faster, I'm 39 years old, this is as fast as I can fucking go, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have a heart attack, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tap out and bring a mate in, you know what I mean? <laughs> She's like, harder, 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 as if I've decided to only let 70% of the blood into my dick. I've got eight pints of fosters, how good do you think this is gonna be? You know what I mean? She's like, deeper, deeper, as if I'm stopping an inch off, you know what I mean? Size of my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what she's saying there is I've got a tiny, manky, insufficient cock, and I don't know what I'm doing with it. You know what I mean? That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear stuff like, ah, not so deep, not so hard. Oh, you're pulverizing my tonsils with a massive blood function. <laughs> it's hard, like, you know. It's hard for men, you know what I mean? Like, we, in a situation like that, we've had a few drinks, you know, with a girl we really want to impress, you know, we want to maintain, we want to perform well sexually, you know what I mean? Maintaining a boner under that amount of pressure is difficult, man. Like, you know, I'm not used to having people, like, strangers poking around near my dick, like, I do enough poking around. But, like, the only other person who pokes around near my dick is my doctor, fell off a door a problem getting a boner around him. But, like, <laughs> I'm not used to it, it's, and it's not the dick that's the problem, the dick sort of looks alright, it's sort of veiny with the shiny bit on the end, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it looks weird, like a bit alien, but it looks alright, you know what I mean? But it's the testicles, I don't know what cool god put the ugliest thing in nature right next to a fucking something we want to get girls to touch, but testicles are just disgusting, you know what I mean? I'm worried, I'm worried that like my testicles are going to bite me sometimes, you know what I mean? Really, like if you got water on them they'd start fucking replicating, you know what I mean? like Gordon Ramsay's forehead if he was a fucking werewolf. <laughs> Disgusting. Man, I'm, I'm pounding away, pounding away on this lassie and she's like, oh, give me an orgasm and make me come, you know what I mean? This is fine, fine, I've got no problem with that. Like, if women could climax as efficiently as men, like men are the gold standard in orgasm. We're so quick, we're just there, you know what I mean? We're like the Google search engine of the orgasm world. It's like, and we deliver 2.5 teaspoons of semen in 0. 0.00016 seconds, you know what I mean? But their girls are like the Microsoft copy bar. It's, like, it's gonna be 30 minutes, it's gonna be 10 minutes, it's gonna be 1 minute, it's gonna be 10 seconds, it's gonna be 5 seconds, it's gonna be 5 seconds, it's gonna be 5 seconds, it's gonna be 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't, I don't really understand women all that well, like even pregnancy and stuff. Like my, my friend Anna, she's pregnant at the moment and, uh, and she got like uh, weird uh, advice from the NHS, like these leaflets that they give you, like anybody here pregnant? Okay. Anybody planning on having a baby? Anybody got a vagina? <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> I know it's got a bit awkward now. Uh, 
Phil Cosby gig. But, um, <laughs> anyone? Anyone got a vagina? Uh, yeah. <laughs> fantastic. What's, what's your name, man? What's your, uh, what's your name? Denise, nice to meet you, Denise. Uh, big cheer for Denise and her vagina! First big hand you've had in your vagina? <laughs> it doesn't have to be the last, or I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you were going to hover like a baby out of your vagina, would you rather have like a really large, heavy, angular, obstructive baby that's going to take ages to heave out, or would you rather have a slightly slimmer, sleeper, more streamlined baby just like whistles out like midwives there with crash pads and baseball mitts to catch it? Doctor, you says you pinch it off at the required length. Only thing you get treated for is friction burns. Like, which which baby would you rather have? The set, the small one. I'm totally with you. I'm totally with you. I've never had a baby, but I've had a few shites, and <laughs> this thing's coming through a sensitive orifice that you want kept in pristine condition. I like make it small. You know what I mean? But these NHS leaflets, like they're, they're saying, like if you smoke, you'll have a smaller baby. If I was pregnant, I'd be on two cigars at a time trying to get this thing back to the size of a ping pong ball. So I've heard horror stories about labour, it can take like an hour, an hour and a half. Like, a long time for me to wait in the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's winter. Uh, it's winter. I don't, I don't like winter. I get dry skin. Anybody get dry skin? I get dry skin. I, I, I at least took things like, I had this like patch of like dry, angry skin on my hip. Like about maybe a month and a half ago, just before Christmas. It was like patch of dry angers, and every day it was like getting bigger and redder and rawer and angry. And I was like, "What the fuck is this thing? Is this skin cancer? Is this how it starts? It's getting bigger." I'm like, "What the fuck? I, you know, I'm a bloke, so I can't go to the doctor about it. I had to Google it instead. Or as soon as you Google something, you get instant confirmation. You've got that thing, and about five other things you never heard of as well. And I was totally paranoid. And then two weeks ago, I was lying in bed having a wank, and I realised that's where my hand rubs. <laughs> Skin cancer just wanked a groove in my hip. <laughs> just need to change the overhand method. Uh, maybe get a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So the one good thing about winter is you don't get hay fever. Anybody here get hay fever? Yeah. Man, hay fever is the most disgusting ailment you can find. You know what hay fever is caused by? <laughs> the other lens. <laughs> <laughs> you know what hay fever is caused by? Pollen, that's right. Yeah, you know what pollen is? It's plant jizz. Basically, like, every summer the little plant flowers come out, the little dicks come out in the middle of the flowers, and they jizz is like dry dust up in there, like fucking Rupert Murdoch jizz going out of the tree house. All the different plants, all the pollens are mingled together, it's disgusting, like dumb free swimming pool. Like, it goes in your eyes, it goes in my eyes, it goes in little kids' eyes, we're all getting bucatied by plants. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it, it's disgusting. Some of the plants like try and make it a bit smarter, they get bees to do the dirty work for them, like they leave bee food out for the bee, the bee like sees the food, like flies down, it's like starts eating his food. While it's down there, the plant gets its dick out. Starts chasing up the side of the bee like getting out of the fucking leg, you bastard! He flies off completely oblivious to this! Sees the fanny flower, like the painted more of the natural world, flies down, starts eating more of this food, you know, like while it's down there, the plant gets its fanny out, starts rubbing the jizz off its neck, like get that jizz up my fanny, you bastard! Absolutely fucking disgusting! the park and wank in a tree and make it sneeze. Is that some ammo bag guy? <laughs> but I, better just, uh, I better just leave you with this, like, because uh, I had to go to Coventry the other day for, for work, like, uh, for my day job. Uh, so I've got a day job, because um, I do stand-up comedy for the money, obviously, but my real passion is, is working in an office <laughs> for about 40 hours a week. I'm starting to get good at it as well. I'm starting to get paid jobs working in offices. Like, pretty soon I'm going to be able to quit the stand up comedy completely. Well, full time in the office administration, you've got to have a dream, alright, party time. <laughs> 
so I had to go to, had to, go to Coventry, uh, so I went down to the train station I said, can I get a ticket to Coventry, like a return, because I want to come back. And, <laughs> and the, the last thing was like that, that'll be £154, please. I was like, I just want to go to Coventry, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> and she was like, that's the price you pay on the day, like walking up with the money and stuff. You like, to get the cheap ones, you got to book online in advance. So I was like, no bother, I'll do that next time. Like, how hard can it be to book a train ticket online? I don't know if you've ever tried to book a train ticket online. It's the most complicated process I've ever been through. It must have been easier putting a space shuttle on the moon. It's insane. Like the first bit makes sense. They ask, where are you going from? Where are you going to? Like, what's the date and what's the time? Like, they need that information, you know what I mean? Then they ask, like, what sort of ticket do you want? Do you want a first? Do you want a standard? Do you want a single? Do you want a return? Do you want a peak? Do you want an off peak? Do you want a super off peak? Do you want a super off peak midweek? Do you want a super off peak midweek in fans, super saver anytime, family and friends, senior saver discount, fucking travel? I don't fucking know! I just want to go to Coventry, I don't even want to go to Coventry, I've got to go there for work! I won't even cover the cost of this fucking ticket, stop punishing me for having to take part in this cruel charade, you know what I mean? I get down further, they'll like select a seat. It's like, do you want to be near a luggage rack? Do you want to be near the toilet? Do you want a quiet coach? Do you want a plug? Do you want Wi-Fi? Do you want a table? Do you want a window seat? Do you want an aisle seat? Do you want me going the same direction as the train? <laughs> I hope I'm going the same direction. I'm not travelling perpendicular to the train, just levitating ten feet above fields of barley. I'm not going to end up in college, am I? Get down even further, they ask for all the information you could possibly need to get a mortgage application in my name. It's like, what's your title? What's your first name? What's your last name? What's your address? What's your big long credit card number that you can't read because it's all in that square writing from 1972 for some reason it's rubbed off in your pocket? What's the date on it? Not that date, the other date. Just a little pissy number in the back. Please do not not tick here if you don't not want us to not send you. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tick or send 500 spam emails right up my arse, you know what I mean? Put it in your email address, put it in a game, just in case you fuck it up the first time you fucking moron. Create a password, then I click the thing to buy the ticket, it says there's already an account associated with this email address. to get a new password, that sends it over to my email address, like I've got to log in at my email account, like sift through all the spam they've already sent me, like find the thing with the like, link in it, go in there, click on the link, brings me back over to the train site, but it's lost all that stuff I spent about three days putting in. It's Tuesday by this point, I'm late for work, I'm fucking raging, you know what I mean? I'm like, this middle is strange, you can suck my dick. I don't want to suck my dick, that's a good password, I remember that, suck my dick. I always remember, I type it in, suck my dick comes back, it's not long enough. I'm ready to join ISIS, you know what I mean? I'm ready to do it, you know what I mean? I'm like, suck my dick, he's fiddling strange, you cheeky cunts, he's not fucking long enough for you. Comes back, must contain a capital letter, I'm like, must contain a number, I'm like, capital S of my dick, you spin on the cheeky guns, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 comes back, must not be a password that you used before. Folks, you've been an absolute delight, thanks for watching, happy new time.